Hey everybody, this is an absolutely stunning development that happened Tuesday night while Mitch, much of the political world was mourning the loss of John Lewis and watching programs devoted to him as we were here. Something in Ferguson happened that, in my opinion, portends a coming political earthquake. And that is this. Cory Bush beat the established Democrat William Lacey Clay, House of Representatives race in Ferguson, Missouri. Cory Bush is a Ferguson activist, 44 year old, working single mother who came out of nowhere, decided that she was going to make a difference and stand up for the working class person and run and she ran against a man who, by his own admission, didn't come back to his neighborhood much and stayed in Washington, D.C. and hobnobbed to do his work. You know, he forgot about the people he represented. And the people who represented, that he was to represent, uh, reminded him harshly of his inaction. And just a day shy, get this, just day shy of the murder of Michael Brown emerges this defeat of a 20 year, that's right, William Lacey Clay has represented Ferguson for 20 years. It's a district that covers St. Louis and North St. Louis County. It is overwhelmingly Democratic and Cori Bush is heavily favored in November to beat Anthony Rogers, her little known Republican challenger. And it comes just two months after the death of George Floyd. The George Floyd political earthquake continues. I saw a clip where a Fox News duty body was asking her how high the tax rate should be. And basically when she said 45% for someone in the area of 1% like a Jeff Bezos, they started laughing and it was no laughing matter because we have evolved into a society where one half of our collective wealth is owned literally by three people, Jeff Bezos, I think Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and Warren Buffett. If that doesn't scare you, I don't know what does. And yet we have a society where we say that someone like that is not going to pay their fair share or, for example, pay for a new facility in New York that's supposed to create jobs. And now I'm talking about Amazon. Instead, even though Jeff Bezos could quite literally have paid for the construction of the Amazon facility in New York that was proposed out of his pocket and not felt the thing, they wanted tax breaks and they didn't, they didn't get them, they pulled out. And rightfully, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez spoke up against the maneuver and said, hey, look, you know, they should be paying taxes. She was right. They didn't deserve a tax break because Jeff Bezos is worth 100, it's imaginable. He's worth one tenth of a trillion dollars. Do you realize that? 100 billion, 100 billion. He's worth a hundred billion dollars. And yet, I mean, think about that. He can't afford to build a facility that's five billion. Really? Here, this same man wants to own the Washington Redskins. It is said, wants to own the Washington football team. It used to be called the Redskins. Wild. So it's in this environment that Cory Bush emerges.
Corey in the house. Corey in the house. So my prediction is that this is going to be the last stand of irresponsible capitalism and that come November, we're going to have a sweep, a major sweep out of people who have not been kind to the working person. Because people have to live. And worse, they have used the Trump approach to pol of politics to tear people apart racially. But this is a clear sign that enough is enough. And this isn't going to happen. Not only that, consider this, the win happened in the middle of a pandemic, which means that the normal walking feet, that the door-to-door -door campaigns that people were doing were cut off by the coronavirus, which means a whole new political season, a whole new one. So subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com and watch out for Cori Bush. Fox News called her a democratic socialist. She's not a democratic socialist. She just wants a simple, fair shake for the working person. There's nothing wrong with that. One should never have to ask the question, what's wrong with that? I'll tell you, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, see ya.